In the thick forests of Kosovo's mountainous north, there are few paths, even fewer people. Okay, we go, we go with this side. Police search teams here often struggling to seek a route through. What started as a manhunt... You see, bullet holes. ...is now, one week later, a desperate quest for evidence. Weapons that we are finding all over. Yesterday we found more than 10 Kalashnikovs. Lieutenant Colonel Veton Elshani is overseeing this effort. A former soldier now focused on finding facts and building a prosecution. We are not an army, we are a police force. So basically we deal with it as police force. For days his team has continued to uncover discarded weapons and military supplies stretched out along several hillsides. The remnants of a raging gun that ravaged a tiny mountain community and shocked an entire region. These men didn't care. No. 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 For the life of no one. It's now been more than a week since that extraordinary, unprecedented attack on a village here in northern Kosovo. As you can see, there's still a very heavy police presence here. A lot of questions remain unanswered. What's clear, though, is there was a huge array of weaponry being brought to bear with ferocity raining down on police positions right here on the entrance to the village. Elchani says despite the attackers' powerful weapons, their training and tactics seemed weak, with none of his men seriously injured in the subsequent firefight that lasted hours. Kosovo's government called the assault part of a larger plan to annex territory in the north, where a predominantly ethnic Serb population is now policed by heavily armed ethnic Albanian officers. Not always happen. People in general don't trust the police. That was the problem. Miodrag Milicevic is executive director of a non-profit group that advocates for the rights of ethnic Serbs in northern Kosovo. The first barrier is basically inability to understand local community, inability to communicate in their native language and vice versa. And of course that even deepened the mistrust because you don't know what the other side is saying and vice versa. The cleanup from the surprise attack is now almost complete, but this investigation could continue for some time. A heavy police presence may remain here for months. The fallout from this deadly incident could be felt for far, far longer.